overheard these guys talking. I wasn't recording, so I missed it. But they said something. They were mad. They were going to start a milk rebellion. I don't know what the heck they're talking about. And then the other dude was like, yeah, it's utterly unfair that we can't be in there. That's Dad Joke 2023. Welcome to Create Arcane Engineering. I'm Tube, your host with the most horrible jokes. And we're here to continue on in the Chronicle Chaos chapter of Magic 3. Something like that is how it goes. Soul sand and souls is where we left off, right? The soul sand, we needed to wash it. So I'm pulling it out the back here on no belt. Boom! This belt is all waterlogged. And under here, there's all pans. I'm pulling it out a stack at a time now. And that turns the soul sand into gold nuggets and nether quartz. We don't really need the nether quartz. We need the gold nuggets down here because we're going to use that and turn that into arcane gold later. The souls, we need to milk withers. So I set up a schmeltery. Let me get in here. And I also put a fluid tank in here. And this is freaking cool. I wanted to show this off before I enclose all this because this is all going to be hidden and inside the wall. But these things, the smooth glowstone, if we come out here, when you look at a create tank, you can actually see through it unless there's fluid in there, right? So to me, in the back, that kind of looks like a gauge. And that's freaking sick looking. That's going to fill up with liquidified resent once we throw race inside here. And I'm stealing power from right here. I got a belt. Boom, it shoots through the wall. Create added this cool thing where if you put a casing around it, it turns it into a full block. That doesn't look terrible there going through the wall because of that but i needed that power back here because we're gonna i'm pumping lava into the smeltery and i'm stealing that from back here where i've had set up for ages now to feed like chapter two and chapter one stuff i think even so lava gets in there and then we're gonna pump liquefied resent out of here into this holding tank and then use it for later. I have three race for now that are going to be added in there. There's Dake, the rapper. He's making resent. There's Essential Mourner. He's making resent. And there is Ganger, the last of the Mohicans. And I realize now that you know what I need to do? I need to add a mod and go to the nether and get about six more of them. And Saturday asked if he could be named after one. So my brilliant idea is I'm going to grab six more. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Saturday, sorry, dude. Didn't roll the dice today. Horrible sounds they make. We're going to get rid of that as soon as I add the rest of these guys in here. We got every day of the week, but we're missing one. Let me close this all up. So it looks good from the outside. Ah, yes. Just like that. Have you back, please. Thank you. Go here. Ah, perfect. Saturday. You, sir, are going to be right here. I can't name these things. Well, Saturday, you're beat. Let me go add this mod so we don't have to listen to them dudes cry out in pain. And just know, in the future, that middle dude is Saturday. And if he tells any more bad jokes, I won't forward them to you. Real quick, I'm adding a mod, and it's called Extreme Sound Muffler. This mod is in the dev build, but it's not in the current released version of CurseForge. So how do you do that? Right-click on this profile here and then hit View Profile. If you're using CurseForge, this is how you can add and remove mods from here. See these three dots? Click on there. And then we're going to go to Profile Options. Click on that deal. Click this, Allow Content Management for this profile. And then hit Done. And then if we go here to the list of mods, we can add a mod. And if we go like where's it at where's it at update all no add more content this guy right here boom click that make sure you save your game before you change anything right 
because sometimes when you add or remove mods, the pack may not load. Extreme Sound Muffler, search that deal. This is it right here for Forge. We're playing on 118.2, so this is the correct version. And we're going to click install. Boom. Back out of this kit. It's in here now. And then just for safekeeping wise, click on here again, hit profile options, uncheck this, hit done, and then go back to playing your game. All right, after editing that little bit together, I realized I wasn't even looking at the skeleton. Saturday, I still can't name it. All right, you're beat, dude. But the sound muffler is this right here. It adds this mod. Click on this thing. And if we go into the recent, we are in recent right here. You can change all sounds, muffled, recent. And I'm looking for entity. So all these sounds, because they're race and they mimic other things, you have to mute all of them. Boom. And you click right there. And we don't have to listen to these dudes cry out in pain anymore. And we're getting liquidified resent i got 69 buckets in there that's freaking perfect timing i'm gonna let that build up and then when i come back we're gonna mess with turning these things into something we already have plenty of <laughs> i truly meant it there's 14,000 of these things sitting in a box from my rehab facility these are called soul beads and if i look at the recipe of these jumpies if we take the liquidified resent, you need 200 millibuckets poured over top of a soul, you get soul beads. And I think we're going to set up an automation for that right now. I used up a lot of my game playing time today, traveling back and forth to the nether to acquire race. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of waiting for this to fill up, we're just going to push and set this deal up right now these are the souls we're going to put a basin right there and then on top of the basin we're going to take a spout this is going to be pretty simple spout right there boom boom and then we need a drawer we're going to take a drawer and we're going to put a drawer right here and because of how that falls on the floor we're also going to use a thing called a puller upgrade boom one of them chumpies and I should have grabbed one of these soul beads. Pop a soul bead in the box. We're going to lock the box. Boom. That's locked. And then when we put this puller upgrade in there, that needs to go to the east. Just like so. Boom. That goes in the box. And because I'm going to let this run while I go do other things in life, I'm going to put copper upgrades in here. Stack it with a void upgrade just so it doesn't overflow. We're done with this stuff and the box. We need pipes, pumps, cogs, shafts, gearboxes. Yes. We want to hit right here. Boom, 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 boom. And then we put our pump. I think we can get power to it right here. Boom. You go that way. Connect to there. We put a cogger. Right here. A gearbox right there. And then we take our wrench that I don't have in my inventory. And we're going to whack this gearbox. Boom. It becomes vertical just like that. And then we go up. Ah. Where do I want it? Right here. How about like this? You go there. Boom. Gearbox. Gearbox. But we need to whack the middle one, right? Get rid of this guy. Boom. Whacked it. You go there. And then we go like this. Boom. 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 It should be pumping. It is. See how simple create is? Just like that. We have an automation. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. We're done. Beat the pack. Boom. You go in there. And let's set this to just pull out one at a time pull them off of there you go back in there and now we're flowing and we're making moves we're making moves to finish up chapter three probably by episode 62 if i was a betting man and 
This has been episode 54, and that wraps up my time for Minecraft today. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Have fun, and peace.